Hello and a very warm welcome and welcome to F1 Daily News, a new feature on the channel that we're going to bring out daily and this covers all F1 Daily News, says what it is in the title. So yeah, this is a new idea I thought I'd bring to the channel. I am looking today for someone to come on and do a Valtteri Bottas video, so if anyone's free, message me about that but yeah so f1 news today we've got lewis hamilton still silent he's like not spoke since abu dhabi we've got uh, words from the domenicali on the german grand prix which is a disgrace um that we don't have a german grand prix and also we've got jensen button speaking that it's a shame that McLaren didn't hang on with Honda. Just um, got me sources up here. Um, yeah, any other news we've got? Max could enhance a race ban as well. I suppose we could cover that. But yeah, let's start with probably the main topic, which is Lewis Hamilton being very silent on social media, not really spoke since the Abu Dhabi chaos. Obviously picked up his uh, knighthood. Um, that's the only time we've really seen him. Quite active on social media, Lewis Hamilton. But yeah, been very quiet. The new FIA president, John Todd, was replaced by um, Ben... I forget it. I can never pronounce his surname. Ben... Anyway, we you, you know who I mean. Um yeah, he sent him a message, Lewis Hamilton hasn't responded, so it's a massive, like, silence boycott, didn't attend the FIA prize ceremony, and yeah, I mean, when when the F1 season starts, he's going to have to talk to the media, you cannot avoid that, so, yeah, um, could be really affecting him mentally, this, um, this has hurt him quite clearly. But Mercedes have been like teasing fans with pictures of Lewis Hamilton. So that says to me that he's going to be staying for 2022. Into other news as we talk about the German Grand Prix. German GP absence from the F1 calendar is regret regrettable, says Domenicali. The German Grand Prix should be on the calendar. We have a 23 race season. And there's no place for a historic Germany. It's okay going to Qatar and Saudi Arabia. It will never have the same passion as Germany. We've got the son of a seven-time champion on the grid. A four-time champion on the grid from Germany. How we don't have a German Grand Prix is criminal. It's like not having Monaco, Silverstone, Monza, Suzuka. It's a joke. The German Grand Prix continued absence from Formula 1 calendar is regrettable, says Domenicali. 2022 will be the second straight year, no race in Germany. German, Germany as a country, a lot of history in Formula 1. Um, yeah, It's very important, we have to make sure the traditional Grand Prix keep their place. I mean, what a load of bollocks that is. Well, if that was the case, you would be going to Germany. Believe me, I'm disappointed and also sad we don't have a German Grand Prix at the moment. But unfor unfortunately, I don't see any interest from Germany in becoming part of the F1 calendar. Why would they not want a German Grand Prix? Now, the one thing about Germany is they don't get many fans at the Grand Prix, but they've got seven-time... Son of a seven-time world champion, a four-time champion, just doesn't make, just doesn't make, it's just baffling. It's a shame and hard to believe. I hope this will change in the future. So there we have Lewis Hamilton news and Germany news. And then we've also got news about Jensen Button saying it's a big shame that McLaren didn't hand on to Honda. Because Max, obviously world champion with a Honda engine. Could McLaren have kept that engine? I do hope McLaren can strive on in 2022. But yeah, a shame McLaren didn't hang on with a Honda engine. Jensen 
Button believes it's a shame McLaren didn't see out the Honda. But it was retirement after retirement, wasn't it? So it wasn't great. Yeah, and then obviously we've got Max could be bans. Obviously we saw quite a lot of incidents regarding Brazil, Saudi. Yeah, a race ban. Uh, is that just... I don't think there's much in that, to be honest. A race ban. I mean, I wouldn't say a race race ban. Also, we've just got some news here about Daniel Ricciardo wanted to make a statement with a Monza win. Disappointing first half of the season. And the best way he could silence his critics was to win at Monza. So there we have it. We've covered some daily F1 news. A new feature on the channel. Um, I hope this goes well. I hope new fans come. If we're covering F1 news every single day in like a 10 minute video, people come to the channel, they see what's happening in the world of Formula 1 and hopefully we get some new people here. If you do want to come on the channel for a Valtteri Bottas video for tomorrow's video, then let me know. Otherwise, I'll just do it solo again. But yeah, I'll give the people a chance to come on. So yeah, we've got Lewis Hamilton, Silence, Germany. Then we've got Max Race Ban, Ricardo had to make a statement. And Jensen Button saying it's a bit of a shame that McLaren didn't continue with Honda. For me, that relationship couldn't continue. It was too toxic. And yeah, just didn't work out for whatever reason. So... There we have it, daily F1 news. This is a feature that I'm going to keep on the channel. So that means we've got two, two F1 videos every day now. We have our normal F1 video, whether it's about Bottas, today we did Ricardo, and then we've got daily F1 news. Let's see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Adios.